Every day I say this one is gonna have to be short and for once that might actually be true. Welcome to day five of my eight week fat loss journey. It is 6 a.m. and in a few hours time I'm setting off for Cornwall to register for the Rat Race Man Beat Coast running at times swimming event that I'm doing tomorrow. By the time this thing goes up automatically on YouTube around four o'clock this afternoon, I should be gazing out over the beautiful ocean or stuck in traffic. So quick update, it is only day five, but I'm already significantly lighter than I was at the beginning of the week. I get the most of that is gonna be inflammation, it's gonna be water retention, I don't care. It is weight that I don't have to carry around back and forth across the Cornish countryside tomorrow. I was 104 kilograms on Monday, I'm now closer to 100. I don't feel much difference, but over three kilograms is a chunk, and that can only be a good thing. Now, I wasn't gonna talk about a tip that keeps me on track today because of time, but something that I did notice yesterday, and quickly, complete rest day, I'm gonna do a very gentle 3K run when I get down to Cornwall tonight, and that will be enough preparation for tomorrow. Anyway, rest day yesterday, and I noticed how my routine of working out twice a day normally is so handy for keeping the food intake under control. I appreciate not everybody will have a work-life balance that allows them to do such things, but where it does, consider it. Here is a perfect example. 5.30 p.m. yesterday, I had my supper. Next food intake was scheduled for 10 p.m. It's a protein powder sludge thing that I have while I'm watching TV before bed. A normal Thursday evening, I jump in here on the bike and do a Zwift race around 8.30, just a quick blast, or I might pop back to my local gym, it's only a couple of minutes away, and do a very light sort of core, arms, shoulders type thing lower intensity than my heavy weight training sessions during the day, or maybe even jump in the sauna. Either way, that means that after eating supper, I can't eat any more food until 10 p.m. because there's just no time. I want a good couple of hours after eating before jumping on the bike or anything else physically active. And by the time I get done with that, showered, cooled down, whatever, it's 10 o'clock anyway. Now yesterday, with no reason not to eat other than this, I was very tempted during the evening to snack. I could even hear my own brain telling me, go on, it'll be useful carbs for Saturday. Anyway, just to amuse me how susceptible I still am to temptation when temptation is given an opportunity to just be tempting. If I didn't have the bike in here or the local gym or the sauna, I would definitely have a routine in my life of a simple two or three K run in the evenings as a means of making eating around that time impossible, or at least really inconvenient. Okay, photos then out of here. Actually, the before photos, tomorrow. I have to be at the start line real early, so I will do the picks, but they will not be up until Sunday's video in theory. My plan is to go back to the hotel on Saturday afternoon after the race, eat, sleep, and then drive back whenever I wake up, probably early hours of Sunday morning. So Sunday should get a video, depending on when I get back here with Saturday's photographs. Worst case, Monday will cover Saturday and Sunday's photographs as well. Okay, here we go. Okay, day five. Next stop, Seaside. 